안녕하세요. 안타키입니다. Glad you could join us on this edition of Let's Speak Korean. 지승현 선생님, 안녕하세요. 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 지승현입니다. We have another great lesson this time, so please join us. 만나서 반갑습니다. Now, in our last lesson, we learned how to ask and answer questions politely when we are in a formal setting or when we are talking with people that we're not too familiar with. Let's get a quick review now. Now, how would we ask someone on the street where the post office is, for example? 우체국이 어디에 있습니까? Now, what if the answer is that the post office is behind the bank? 은행 건물 뒤에 있습니다. Now, this is what we learned in our last lesson. Well, this time we're going to venture a little further and learn how to answer some more questions uh, when we are in a formal setting or when we're talking with people that we're not too familiar with. Now, we're going to be concentrating on things that have happened in the past. Well, then, let's take a look at the clip. <laughs> Yo, 네. 네. 이영기 씨, 조금 전에 친구가 전화를 걸었습니다. All right. We just saw Michael in his office answering the phone. Now the caller asked for Michael's colleague by the name of E. Yonggi. Michael asks another colleague where he is, and he gets the answer that E. Yonggi she is in a meeting, right? So Michael takes a message, and when E. Yonggi she shows up a while later, he gives him the memo. Well, then let's get a check of the expressions in this lesson. We're going to learn how to talk about things that happened in the past in a formal setting or with people we're not familiar with by ending our sentences with either 어습니다 or 어습니까. Now let's begin by going over some vocabulary. Please repeat after 선생님. 전화를 받다. 전화를 받다. 전화를 걸다. 전화를 걸다. 출근하다. 출근하다. 회의하다. 회의하다. <목소리> 이영기 씨 출근했습니까? 네, 출근했습니다. 이영기 씨 출근했습니까? 네, 출근했습니다. 어디에 갔습니까? 회의하러 갔습니다. 어디에 갔습니까? 회의하러 갔습니다. Michael asked his colleague whether Yeonggi Shi has come to work. Now, how would we say this in Korean? Yeonggi Shi 출근했습니까? 이영기 씨 출근했습니까? Yes, he has come to work. Let's try this in Korean now. 네, 출근했습니다. 네, 출근했습니다. 출근 means to come to work. Now, 이영기 씨 is not at his desk at the moment, and Michael's colleague tells him that he is at a meeting, that he has gone to a meeting. Now, how would we say this in Korean? 회의하러 갔습니다. 회의하러 갔습니다. Now, instead of just saying 출근했어요 and 갔어요, they say 출근했습니다 and 갔습니다, 
right? Okay, remember we learned in our last lesson that these are the polite expressions, right? The only difference from last week is that all of these verbs are in their past tense, right? Okay, from sumnida and sumnika, we have come to osumnida and osumnika. Right. Sanseungnim, so when it comes to the past tense, we end the sentences with um osumnida and osumnika, right? That's right. When you want to turn either verb or adjectives into the past tense, all you have to do is uh, use either osumnida or osumnika to finish the sentence. When the stem of verbs and adjectives end in either a or o, we add asumnida. And for the rest of the vowels, we add osumnida. For verbs that end in hada, we add yosumnida to turn it into hayosumnida. But this we often shorten to read hesumnida. Now let's practice some examples by incorporating some of the new vocabulary that we learned in our lesson earlier. 전화를 받다. 전화를 받았습니다. 전화를 걸다. 전화를 걸었습니다. 출근하다. 출근했습니다. 회의하다. 회의했습니다. That was very good. Now, let's now practice asking some questions, shall we? Now, just as we did in our last lesson, we are going to add the word ga to come up with some questions. All right, then, how would we ask someone what they did in Korean? 뭐 했습니까? 뭐 했습니까? Please join 선생님 and I as we practice a little conversation. Okay? 뭐 했습니까? 전화를 받았습니다. 전화를 걸었습니까? 네, 전화를 걸었습니다. 출근했습니까? 네, 출근했습니다. 뭐 했습니까? 회의했습니다. Time for some extra expressions now. Now Michael tells the caller that 이영기 씨 is not at his desk. Now how did he say this in Korean? 지금 자리에 없습니다. 지금 means now, and 자리 is referring to the place where the person sits, that is, the person's desk. So Michael's answer is that the person is currently not at his desk, not here, that is. Right, this is an expression that we use very often, so you might want to remember this one. All right then, why don't you try saying it for yourself? 지금 자리에 없습니다. 지금 자리에 없습니다. There is another expression that we should learn. Now, Michael tells the caller to try calling again later. Now, what was the expression in Korean? 나중에 다시 전화해 주세요. 나중에 means later. Don't forget it. Now, let's get a wrap up of what we have learned so far in this lesson. We are going to go over the expressions one by one along with the clip. <laughs> Yabuseo 
이영기 씨 출근했습니까? 네, 출근했습니다. 네, 출근했습니다. 어디에 갔습니까? 어디에 갔습니까? 회의하러 갔습니다. 회의하러 갔습니다. 여보세요. 이영기 씨가 지금 자리에 없습니다. 여보세요. 이영기 씨가 지금 자리에 없습니다. 회의하러 갔습니다. 회의하러 갔습니다. 나중에 다시 전화해 주세요. 나중에 다시 전화해 주세요. 이영기 씨, 조금 전에 친구와 전화를 걸었습니다. 이영기 씨, 조금 전에 친구가 전화를 걸었습니다. Now here's another look at the clip from the top. Now please use this section to try to memorize the expression. <목소리> 여보세요. 네, 이영기 씨요. 잠깐만 기다리세요. 이영기 씨 출근했습니까? 네, 출근했습니다. 어디에 갔습니까? 회의하러 갔습니다. 여보세요. 이영기 씨가 지금 자리에 없습니다. 회의하러 갔습니다. 나중에 다시 전화해 주세요. 네. 네. 이영기 씨, 조금 전에 친구와 전화를 걸었습니다. In this section, we are going to review all of the double vowels that we have learned so far. 야, 여. 요, 유, 에, 에, 예, 예, 와, 왜, 워, 왜, 왜, 위, 의. I'm afraid we have to say goodbye for this edition of Let's Speak Korean. Now, in this lesson, we learned how to ask and answer questions politely about events that happened in the past. Now, that is when we are in a formal setting or when we are with um, people that we're not too familiar with, right? 선생님, 어제 어디에 갔습니까? 극장에 갔습니다. 안착기 씨는 뭐 했습니까? 저는 집에서 일했습니다. Mm. Uh -huh. All right then, let's stop here for this lesson. And until next time, 안녕히 계세요.